welcome back just like we saw in the case of sheet metal bending it is very important to find the exact size of blank in deep drawing process as well so for uh, final dimensions of drawn shape to be correct starting blank diameter must be right it must be large enough to supply sufficient metal to complete the cup yet if there is too much material unnecessary waste will result so the starting blank diameter must be accurately calculated as i mentioned in the first segment that we will primarily focus on cylindrical shape a plain cup in our discussion on deep drawing processes or other axisymmetric shapes but the concepts that we will discuss can be extended to other shapes as well so the rule that we will be using to calculate the the size of the starting blank and in the case of cylindrical shapes it will be a circular blank so we will focus on the diameter of the starting blank so uh, this is the rule because the volume of the final product is the same as that of the starting sheet metal blank the blank diameter can be calculated by setting the initial blank volume equal to the final volume of the product and solving for diameter d subscript b as this deep drawing or cup drawing is a zero process so the volume of the starting blank will be equal to the volume of the part that we are making so by using this simple equation we can actually calculate the diameter of the starting blank because we know the dimensions of the part from the drawing so we can calculate the volume of the final part and the only thing that needs to be calculated is actually the uh, diameter of the blank to facilitate the calculation it is often assumed that negligible thinning of the part wall occurs so we can make this calculation simpler if we assume that the thickness of the starting blank remains unchanged so the the thickness of the blank is equal to the thickness of the part that we are making so in that case we can actually equate the area of the blank to the area of the part that we are making and of course then solve for this d subscript b to calculate the uh, diameter of the starting blank so there are formulas already available based on the concept that we discussed that area of the starting blank uh, should be equal to the area of the final part so formulas to calculate the diameter of the starting blank for simple shapes have already been derived so for a square corner shell something like shown in the figure so a shell that has a diameter d and a height h and that has sharp corners so in order to make this shell the diameter of the starting blank can be found using this formula so that is the diameter of the blank will be equal to uh, square root of d square plus 4 dh practically it is difficult to make sharp corners using deep drawing process so for a round cornered cup so if this shell has some some radius at the bottom something like this radius r uh, here r equals uh, the radius of the corner then we can use this formula and it will give fairly accurate dimensions for the diameter of the starting blank so this will be equal to a square root of d square plus 4 dh minus radius r so these two formulas are based on the assumption that the thickness of the drawn shell is to be the same as the original thickness of the stock and that the blank is so proportioned that its area will equal the area of the drawn shell so this method of calculating the blank diameter is quite accurate for thin material so when there is only a slight reduction in the thickness of the metal incident to drawing 
but when an appreciable reduction in thickness is to be made the blank diameter can be obtained by first determining the mean height and mean diameter we will illustrate these different cases with the help of a simple example so we have to calculate the blank diameter to make the shell shown in the figure so this shell has a certain outer diameter that is 3 it has a height 2 and thickness 1 over 8 so first we assume that there is no thinning and we also ignore the bottom radius so in this case we have this formula so the diameter of the starting blank will simply be equal to d square that is the square of the diameter plus 4 d into h so h is the height that is 2 so that will be equal to square root of 33 so we will have a diameter of the starting blank equal to approximately 5.745 inches assuming that there is no thinning and there is of course certain radius that we are making and we we take that radius for the sake of calculation to be equal to 0.0625 so in that case we can use this formula so the diameter of the starting blank will be equal to uh, this is square root of 33 minus a radius of 0.0625 or 5.745 minus 0.0625 so that will be equal to approximately 5.682 inches the third possibility is that we do assume thinning that is the thickness of the part the shell that we are making reduces and still ignoring the bottom radius then we have to calculate the mean diameter and mean height so this was the outer diameter of the shell that was 3 so we have to calculate the mean diameter so we have to subtract this half thickness as well as this half thickness in order to calculate the mean diameter so this half thickness plus this half thickness equals to the thickness that is 1 over 8 or 0.125 so actually we are calculating the mean diameter that is equal to 3 Minus half of one uh, over eight, so that is half of point one two five minus half of point one two five. So that turns out to be two point eight seven five inches. Similarly, in order to find the mean height, we have to subtract the half thickness. This one, so mean height will be equal to. 2 minus half the thickness and that is 1.938 and using the formula that we just saw in the previous slide so the diameter of the starting blank is d square plus 4d h and d is the mean diameter just calculated and height is the mean height so the diameter of the starting blank turns out to be 5.528 inches in case we are assuming uh, the thinning to take place and if we also assume this radius r and take this value to be 0.0625 so assuming, assuming both factors that there is thinning taking place and there is an uh, internal radius as well then the diameter of the blank will be equal to uh, d square plus 4dh minus r So D and H are the mean diameter and mean height. So they turned out to be five point five two eight minus, assuming radius to be point zero six two five. So this diameter turns out to be five point four six five.
inches. So these were a few possibilities regarding a plain shell that has a certain height and a certain diameter and whether we were assuming thinning to take place or not and was there an inner radius at the bottom of the shell or not. I hope you can calculate the value of reduction in this case as well. Now, there are different formulas available for different axisymmetric shapes. So, if the shell has a square corner but has a flange or collar that has a diameter d1, then the diameter of the starting blank will be equal to d1 square plus 4dh. Similarly, if we have the same shape but there is an inner radius at the bottom of the shell as well as an outer radius at the at the collar or flying, then this formula will be used, this one. And you could see similar formulas for other axisymmetric shapes as well. Now the question is, what if we have some other shape? Is there a general method that we can use? And the answer is yes, we can use the method of areas. And actually this method has been used to derive these formulas that we are seeing on the slide. So we can find the areas of different segments of the part to be drawn and then, sum, uh, and then sum those areas. So as we are given the drawing of the part that we have to make, so we can divide the uh, part into different segments, calculate the areas of those segments, and then sum those areas to find uh, and then to equate that area to the area of the starting blank and then calculate the diameter of the starting blank. So I hope uh, this basic idea to calculate the uh, diameter of the starting blank in the case of axisymmetric shapes is clear. Thank you.